It's a worthwhile wait for passengers here at the Bachana Rail Station as he anticipates the arrival of the Accra Tema train service. But they need not wait too long. The sound of an approaching train is heard from a distance. Its would-be passengers begin to assemble as it grinds to a halt. Robert Dinchi, a 32-year-old banker, is a regular user of the train service. It is now his preferred choice of commute to work and back in these times of incessant hikes and fuel prices. If you look at what the fuel offers and how expensive it is, and it has been over the year, especially this year alone, from March, it's kept going up and up. And at some point, you just have to make the decision that, you know what, why don't I just save some more? and join the train. After all, the train is, is faster, it's cheaper, and it will get you to where you're going as well. It's not only the affordable fare for Obed. The time it takes to get to work is an added advantage. The train gets my stop um, at 6.40. So I've realized it actually gets there sometimes 6.38, 6.37, yeah. And it takes just about 18 minutes to my stop. That's pretty much it. It's a jolly and shaky ride for commuters moving from Tema and its environs to a car by train. And of course, uh, this ride provides safety and assured comfortability as well as cost effectiveness for these passengers, especially in a period where the cost of fuel and transport services are skyrocketing by the day. The train service seems to have garnered a high level of patronage since it resumed operations three months ago. There are days the service is overwhelmed with passengers. For this one, the first class, they take seven cities. And for a trust gift, I think they take eight, five. So well, uh, uh, like that. But for this, comparing that to this, I think this is uh, much better than that of uh, the trust gift. The train is much faster and then more affordable because from my place to circle now it's like nice it is but then the train will pay just seven cents and then within an hour i get to my destination but comparing to the trust case we use more than almost an hour and a half after three stops it took about 20 minutes to get to obert's destination that will be a luxury for anyone who uses a public transport system over the same distance the Accra Tema train service currently serves up to 335 passengers, despite the overflow sometimes. But in other parts of the country, this service is yet to be revived. We visited the Accra and Sawam railway line. About some six years ago, the Insawam Railway Station used to be a center for reliable, affordable and fast transportation. But now it's empty. No transport, no people no trains. At a time where Ghanaians are reeling under the current economic crisis, this railway station would have provided the alternative route for people traveling from Insawam to Accra. But now it's not the case, virtually empty. I have been in Kasa since the change of government by the train and the train. Since there was a change of government, the train station closed down. Yesterday, my trip to Accra cost almost 26 cities. But if the trains were working, I would have paid at most 15 cities. The once vibrant station has now become an extension of a market. The railway workers have for years complained about the neglect of the sector, and traders along these lines have also been impacted. A cheap source to transport their cargo gone, and profits dwindled. Since the train stopped working, business is slow. I have to walk long distances now before I can sell my oranges. At first, the passengers here would have bought everything quickly. Though the government is on an ambitious move to expand the rail sector, the realization of the dream is taking a bit long.
Immediate government intervention in transport sector, some experts say, is a move that cannot be delayed as citizens struggle in the face of transport fare hikes. Train lines and coaches may not be the quickest fix possible yet, but one that if achieved can avert such future challenges for many passengers. Judith Awachitando, TV3 News.